All right, guys, well, welcome back. All right, this studio raise, uh, Boys in the Toys, and right now we're going to be doing a, a open boxing for Ray Martinez Photography. All right, uh, this is gear related. All right, and particularly, this is a, uh, a gear for the new Nikon. Well, I have the Z6 and Z7. I end up picking up a uh, L bracket. Uh, uh, so I'm just getting it. It's from China. All right. So just my first time opening it up. So let's take a look at it. And maybe it's something that you guys can consider. So let's, uh, let's cut this bad boy open and see what we have. And again, buying stuff, uh, you know, on the cheap from China, sometimes it's worth it, sometimes it's not. It all depends. Um, I don't think this was too expensive when I bought it. Um, I'll put a link. I think I got it from Amazon or I'm, maybe eBay. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll, f I'll put a link on where I got it once I figure it out. Um, again, I get a lot of, as you know, guys, you've been following my channel. I like buying gear. I like buying tools. I like buying pretty much anything. Uh, that's my hobby. You know, that's what I enjoy doing. So, here we go. Uh, it's coming real wrapped, a lot of plastic, I can see. And here it is, guys. Uh, for just sun, I guess. It has the number Z7 on it. Uh, I have the Z6, so it's not a big deal. Um, comes with the Allen key wrench. Uh, and this one here, what I like about it is adjustable. So it's very versatile. So I have my Z6 right here now. So let's, let's put this together and see how this fit. All right. Um, I'm gonna pull on it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's stable. It's, you know, it's not cheap. It's definitely uh, made some steel. So it looks good. I think, you know, it does look good. Show you guys here how I was looking. The adjustment tabs here. It's the bottom. You know, it has a threaded, you know, it's here, it's threaded right here. Over here, you can see has some type of like if you want to put a strap through it you can so that's it um, you can see it has a little tabs here that's that's elevated off it has some I got some plastic here in the middle and the key. All right, so that's it. So let's uh, let's get this hooked up and take a look at it. See, uh, is it worth the price of admission? All right, guys. As you can see, again, they give you everything needed here. Uh, rightfully so. What I'm gonna do is just take out one of these out uh, keys here. small one. Let's go see the small one for this one. Alright. Alright, so let's, see. let's set this up. That's it, guys. It's attached. Um, it's on the side. It's 
totally adjustable, so if you need to come out, you can adjust these pins here. Now, as far as getting my fingers in here, I have stubby fingers. So, you're definitely going to need something to help you get, take up your thing and get it started. If you need to get into there and push it to the side. Now they got threads here, I guess, if you if you have any other type of accessories to go with it to extend off of it, you can. So that's that's pretty good. I guess if you're shooting video or you got some other equipment you want to hook up to it, you can do that. Um, as far as shooting and holding it, it feels good. True on the button for your your lens re release. I like it. Um, does it intrude in the battery? So definitely can get get to the battery so it doesn't come all the way over. Very good. I think uh, this will this is gonna do the job. Let me see uh, as far as taking it out. At the lens, as you can see, it doesn't look, it doesn't interfere as it sh shouldn't. When you take out the lens, I mean the, the screen. So, yeah, this is uh, it's gonna do the job. All right. Um, again, I wanted something more stable than it. One of those plates. I'm not a big fan of them. So. This is definitely going to be uh, definitely work out. All right. So, again, guys, it's just a quick look at the L bracket. All right. So, that's a look at it. It's for the Z. It says Z6, Z7 on it. I have a Z6. It's the same thing. It, it all works. So, it's definitely a good look. Saved a few dollars. Uh, I couldn't pay that really right stuff tax for that L bracket. And believe me. Really white stuff makes some great stuff, again. But when it comes to things like this, it's really pricey. It really is. And I thought, getting this, I think this will do fine with me on what I have to do. So, as you can see, how it fits underneath it. All right, this is your Allen key for these two parts when you use it on your. Um, the bald head. So it has a good finish. It has a very good finish. Alright. Let me close them. Have a look at it. Again. Not that not that complicated. Alright. Looks very nice. It fits the camera very well. Uh, it looks like it belongs on the camera. All right. Um, it's been, I think it's machined very well. And again, it has the flexibility. What I like, having the flexibility, if I, if I unscrew these screws, to pull this further away from the body. So if I'm running cables or I'm videotaping, I need to get closer to it and get more room to get the wires in. That's a good look, too. Or uh, if I'm shooting in a landscape or video, in a portrait, I should say, getting that extra lift from the body uh, will definitely come in handy, especially if you want to tether. So that's, uh, that's one thing I like about it. All right. Um, and again, if you have a strap, there's another connection point. If you have a strap on the camera and on this, just to protect it from falling or or uh, getting stolen if it's connected. So that's a good look too right here. Um, it's a good looking uh, L bracket. I definitely recommend it for your um, Nikon mirrorless 
camera owners. If you're looking for something a little more inexpensive, you want to play the really light stuff tax, um, look into this one. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, I'm not. I, I'm glad I have it. And uh, I'm just going to keep it moving. All right? Thank you.